Finally, let's move on to our last story. Claudine Gay steps down. Now, those of you who might not know the name Claudine Gay, Claudine Gay is a, well, was a president of Harvard. And she has gotten into a lot of controversy in the past few months. Many of you know of the war in Gaza. In fact, we'll leave a link down below so that you can check out that content because we addressed it in another episode. And, you know, these issues that are happening in that war have been spreading throughout society. It has gone as far as to spread onto university campuses in the United States. You know, some people support Israel. Some people support Gaza side of the war. And, you know, it has become so disgusting on certain campuses because people are now utilizing this to show stuff like anti-Semitism or in some cases, anti-Muslim agenda. And... This happened at Harvard University. Now, when that happened, there were calls for Gay to speak against the behavior of some students. There were calls for her to really tackle the presence of anti-Semitism on her campus. But she didn't do that. In fact, she was called before a court hearing because of it. And... She refused 17 times under oath to acknowledge that, you know, Jews had a, a difficult past and anti-Semitism was something that you should stay away from. Now, even in spite of all of this, many of the professors at Harvard still supported Gay because she has been seen as an iconic person. She's only the, the second female to be a president at Harvard. She's also the first black president, was the first black president to be the president at Harvard. So even throughout, you know, this ordeal, they supported her. However, recent issues with her uh, alleged plagiarism during the time when she was doing her dissertation have prompted her to eventually step down from her role. You know, students, when interviewed or polled, have expressed mixed feelings because of that. Because she, as I said earlier on, had become iconic because of what she represented. However, her clear stance, her clear anti-Semitic stance, has put them in, in a conundrum. They cannot support somebody who behaves that way. I derive an interesting chess move from this story you know effective leadership is crucial when sensitive situations arise if claudine gay had truly decided to just denounce anti-semitism regardless of how she felt about it personally but decided to just denounce it and decided to speak against what is obviously you know something that goes against basic human decency if she had decided to do that she would have saved herself a lot of trouble. She would have also saved, you know, her legacy in some way. Now, that legacy has become tainted because she has, was forced to step down. And she is no longer the iconic figure that she was supposed to be. It's important as leaders, as game changers, to tackle the issues when the time comes. Because if you don't do so, it can fester and become something somewhat of a problem. So, be effective in your leadership, especially in sensitive situations.